now call upon His Majesty King Charles III to present city status to the Provost of Fife. First Minister, Secretary of State, uh, Provost, ladies and gentlemen, my wife and I are immensely proud to be able to share this historic moment with you. I, I was delighted when in May this year uh, it was announced that Dunfermline was one of the eight communities being granted city status to mark the late Queen's Platinum Jubilee. There could be no more fitting way to mark my beloved mother's extraordinary life of service than by granting this honour to a place made famous by its own long and distinguished history and by the indispensable role it has played in the life of our country. Now, of course, we gather to celebrate this great occasion but also to commemorate the life of Her Late Majesty, whose deep love for Scotland was one of the foundations of her life. From early times, Dunfermline has been of immense significance to Scotland's and to this whole island's story. It is the birthplace of philanthropists, it is the burial place of kings and queens. It has been the scene of events, both secular and sacred, which have shaped our times. Its stones tell uh, the story of the people and the events that have made our country what it is today. It is also, of course, a community and it is my hope that all those who live in or hail from this very special place will feel a real sense of pride at this latest chapter in your, in our, rich history. And that this new distinction will not merely burnish the legacy of our past, but will also brighten the prospect of our future. That would, I know, uh, gladden my dear mother's heart, as it certainly gladdens mine. And as you celebrate uh, your well-deserved status as Scotland's new city, I can only offer my warmest congratulations and my heartfelt wishes for the years to come. <laughs> 